Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Beverly. I do things planner related. If you're new here, welcome to the hot mess. And if you're coming back, well, you're well aware. So um, today we're going to be talking about my planner. Y'all, I did a plan with me and um, did a whole butt plan with me, 30, 40 minutes long. Can't get the dang thing to load. Can't get it to load. Can't. It's, um, it's, whatever. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, so I have a new cover. I bought this Moterm 2.0 Lux on Buy, Sell, Trade. This was brand new when I got it. It, it was used, but like, it's like they never used it. Um, I had to roll it because it still didn't even lay flat. Um, it has like its first mark. Um, I, um, uh, stuck it in my bag going back and forth to work and it ended up with a mark on it um but it's fine it's what it's for I love the color um like I said this was pretty much brand new it came with um silver rings I put gold in these are 25 millimeter rings um and this has been working out now it's not as thin um like my is my chic sparrow which I love um, it's not as narrow when I close it, obviously, uh, but, uh, I do like it. I like the color and, um, but you can see how much narrower my cheek sparrow is. I do have a second and I'm not sure if I, if I showed this or not, but I did buy his second, um, chic sparrow. This is the Morgan Cascade. Um, and it's going to be my second Traveler's Notebook. I'm looking for a lighter one. Um, if anybody has a B6 Slim to D stash, that's a Chic Sparrow or like that, that um, is a light color, you know, hit me up. Um, I'd like a light one for the summer. But this one is not as wide as my Planner Room Shop one. It's not quite as wide. It is basically the, I'm going to be honest, basically the same. It's just a little bit, Planner Room Shop is just a little bit bigger. These, this is great if you have um, Franklin Covey compact size. You don't have to widen it. You don't have to get it bigger or anything. This fit would fit Franklin Covey compact perfectly. Um, it's just enough wider that um, it would give you just enough with your ring or with your pin loop. And this is a huge pin loop. So um, I highly recommend these if you have Franklin Covey Compact because you don't even have to, I can imagine her Franklin Covey Compact one is probably super wide. Um, but if you like your Franklin Covey Compact and a Moterm Lux, these would be great too because they're just as wide. Okay, so... Um, so I've been using this, uh, Monday I took my traveler's notebook, but I quickly realized that I needed a place that I could shove some stuff in it. So I have a back pocket full of stuff and, um, they give us cards and things and resources and things like that. So I've just been shoving it back, back in my pocket or in the, in the thing and, um, hold on. Sorry, I had to take some stuff out. Okay. So, um, like I said, I have stuff set in the back. So, um, this has been working out. Uh, when I tell you I have an emotional support planner, I really do be having an emotional support planner. Let me explain. Um, my days serve kind of as a dump and I've said this a thousand times I serve it serves as a dump um, I put things that I may need to do have to do come across my brain if my anxiety is really high and I'm thinking of things I'll do a dump list real quick and that helps my anxiety like um, it helps me get all the things out of my head that I need to get done um, Sorry, somebody come in. Um, so it helps all the things come out of my head, like intrusive thoughts. I write them down and maybe talk about why I'm having them. If I have 
negative self-talk, I'll write it out and maybe um, jot a little bit about where it came from. Um, this has been really helping with my mental health. So when I say emotional support planner, I really do be mean an emotional support planner, like emotional, my emotions. Um, so this really does help. And it's one of the reasons why I carry everything with me. Um, when you're high anxiety, it's just easier to know that you have your entire being in a little bitty place and you don't have to worry about where it is. <laughs> one day I did break out my pocket um, I thought, oh, I'll try it. Um, that lasted a whole day. I, I did not like it. Um, I don't like writing in the little boxes. And yes, I kept trying it. But um, I think at this point, I'm just going to de-stash it. I think I'm going to um, break it down and um, maybe sell it. And um, someone was detected. At the sorry. Front. Someone was detected at your front door. Sorry. Um, so I think at this point, I think I'm just going to de-stash it. I, it just doesn't work for me. Or maybe I'll just take it apart and hold on to it, and maybe one day it will work. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm kind of not sure what I want to do with it, but I know for sure it's not working as it is. So it is what it is. But we already knew that, didn't we? Y'all knew that. I, I learned things the hard way. I'm from the School of Hard Knocks generation, you know, we have to try things several times and different ways in order to see if we can make it work, but sometimes it just doesn't. Um, this is what my week ended up looking like. Like I said, I did a whole butt plan with me. I put on stickers and did all the things and um, like it's, I don't know, it's gone, but um. I don't have anything going on, so it's fine because I really didn't, I don't have anything. Like, I, I'm in training. I did not plan anything. I did not schedule anything all week. I got a few phone calls I need to make on, like, a lunch break tomorrow. But other than that, pretty much everything else I'm doing online or whatever. I did catch up all my spending for my finance tracker, and um, I'll be able to fill that out. Um... I have a little bit of information to put in my budget tracker. Um, like I said, I have notes every day, um, some lists uh, that I need to look into. Um, you know, it's just going. Like, I'm, I'm settling into this. Today we had um, cheesy chicken and broccoli. Uh, my daughter's been cooking. So yesterday we had lasagna. <laughs> um, I'm still doing my gratitude on the back. That's still working out. So I did all last week. This is what last week ended up looking like. I'll show that. Um, it was a busy week. Lots of things done. This is my budget tracker I didn't keep up with. Um, so, yeah. May has... My dump list has fallen into two lists now, so I this is all May. It will not all get done. It's here as a placekeeper. I'll try to get off what I can. Some of this is very small stuff, but some of it is big stuff, and it's just not going to happen this month. I should have known better. I'll start again in June, and then um, maybe, you know, that'll go better. <laughs> I have decided to do something different with my books, I think. Um, I'm, what I'm going to do is do a pull out and then start keeping track, print out the little book, um, the book, you know, cover um, from Kindle and keep track of when I uh, read each book because this is a, it's a little more visual than just a check mark. It's not really telling me what I'm reading and sometimes I'll comfort read. But I want to count that too, so it doesn't really get checked off my to-be read list, but it is reading, so, you know, I want, I want to count that too. I have read the last couple days on my lunch break, so, um, so that's what's been going on. Everything is pretty much still the same. Um, I did a video about cleaning it out, and it still stayed cleaned out, um, I have to cover some stuff up, but, um, 
that's that's about it. That's all I've got. So I hope you're having a good week. Um, it's going okay so far. Oh, I did pick up these cute little stickers. Um, I bought them at our local spring market. It's so cute. Just a girl standing in front of her plants and asking them not to die. And then I got another one back here. <laughs> Pothead. Yeah. So I thought those were cute. Um, I'm going to, uh, I put, so I'll put them in there. My tarot for the week. Like I said, I have stuff from work back there, um, and this has been working out. I am going to move my wallet in here. I'm going to put all my cards in here um, because it is working out so well, and it's carrying well. So I really like that. I like that it's um, carrying well. Um, I do like that it's thinner. Um, with it being thinned out, it's still very thin um, compared to the chunky butt that it was. So that's great. Um, I think it helps being in here and it's thinner, um, just thinner overall. So that's good. I'm still not used to this gap here um, with my, um, I'm used to that B6 Slim where it comes up to here. <laughs> so that's still some adjusting, but um, it's, it's fine. I'll have times where I'll need the back pocket. I'll have times where I won't. Um, and honestly, I could use the other one. It would be fine, too. I could shove stuff in this secretarial pocket back here. I really do. When I tell you I miss this when it's gone, I really do miss this when it's gone. Um, so don't, don't count this out. It'll be back. I promise you. Because uh, this is, you know, these are my favorite color. My favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, covers. I still haven't put the rings in this one. I need to do that, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So I like that one too. I don't know if you can see the variation. I have to roll this one. It hasn't been rolled. It's still very stiff, um, it, but it's not quite as, it wasn't as quite as stiff as this one when I got it. Um, and this one took a couple of roll times to get it um, floppy. So this one, because but this one, the pocket is still very stiff. So um, it'll take a couple of rolls to get it to loosen up. So, that's what I have going on this week. I'm sorry there was no um, video. Uh, oh, um, I did want to say thank you to Melissa um, for sending me some happy mail. I appreciate it. She sent me um, a Michigan card, which I thought was very pretty. And I'm going to put in my um, put in my planner. And then a... Um, Grand Haven Lighthouse card, and then a life jacket, which I'm, I'm absolutely going to put in my planner. I love this. I love little stickers like this, um, and I appreciate her. She sent me some notes and um, some beautiful, she sent me a note, which I'm not going to show, but she did send me um, some beautiful sticky notes, and I'm going to put these in my um, planner, and this is just one of them, so... So thank you very much, Melissa. I really do appreciate it. I really, really, really do. I'm, I'm so thankful. Thank you very, very much. Um, so thank y'all for hanging out with me today. I hope everybody had a great week. I hope everybody has a great weekend. And um, let me know what you're doing down in the comments. And until next time, y'all. Bye. Okay, I shouldn't have brought it out. I shouldn't have touched it. It's too late. I already put it in here. <laughs> I, when I tell y'all this is my absolute favorite color or uh, cover, and I hate to change it, I'm I'm telling you, I absolutely hate changing it. So, you know, it's okay though. It'll be fine. All right, bye. <laughs>